Trigeminal neuralgia is facial pain caused by compression to the trigeminal nerve. It is usually caused by an artery that forms a long loop, which becomes stuck where the nerve exits the brainstem. This can lead to the erosion of the nerve lining, resulting in intense pain. This can cause difficulty speaking, chewing, and sleeping, with pain that is debilitating enough to decrease one's quality of life. The trigeminal nerve is one of 12 pairs of cranial nerves attached to the brain and is made up of the ophthalmic, the maxillary, and the mandibular branch. Treatment options include pain-relieving pharmaceuticals like anticonvulsants, antidepressants, and muscle relaxants. Botox shots have also been used to block the sensory nerves. Stereotactic radio surgery like gamma knife and cyber knife may disrupt pain signals being transmitted to the brain. Surgical interventions include microvascular decompression and radio frequency lesioning. Prior to surgery, there are many other complementary approaches, including physical therapy. I have developed EMT or electromechanical therapy, which is essentially the integration of manual therapy, electromagnetic energy, radio frequency current, graded facial exercises, and pioneer science education. I would like to share a case study which is part of a case series being prepared for possible publication to scientific journals. This is a case of a 59-year-old female um, who complained of a 12-year history of uh, debilitating pain, which she has described as off the charts. Um, she has rated this on a 20 over 10 on the numerical pain rating scale. This is uh, located mostly on the right upper lip, but could be uh, spread out to her jaw and eye on the right side. This is aggravated by the simple task of speaking, brushing her teeth, chewing, or even air blowing on her face. This has definitely decreased her quality of life as shooting, paralyzing, pulsing, and burning pain uh, emerges. Her treatment included rated radio frequency current to desensitize the trigeminal nerve, as well as electromechanical transduction or the combination of electrotherapy and manual therapy, with the objective of facilitating the remyelination of exposed uh, sensory nerves. After four treatment sessions, we have seen a significant drop in her pain level from a reported 20 over 10 to 4 over 10. After 10 physical therapy sessions, her pain level stabilized to a 0 to 1 over 10. Area of coverage used to be on the entire right side of her face and is now localized to just a tiny dot on her right upper lip. It's been about 12 years. It was difficult diagnosing it because no one knew what it was, but once it was diagnosed with my neurologist, I knew what I was dealing with. But over the years, it got way more intense. And when I came to you, started treatment, it was on a scale of one to 10, it was a 20. I was in severe pain and looking for relief anywhere I could find it, even to the point of investigating um, the more invasive treatments, which included surgery, although I did not want to do that. So coming here was a real attraction because it did not include surgery and did not include more medication because the medication alone was not preventing the intense pain that I was having. After about the fourth treatment, I would say it's when, although I was feeling some pain, it was not intense at all. 
Um, so, I mean, significantly going from like a 20 on a scale of 1 to 10 down to maybe like a 4. I've been down to maybe like 1 or 2 when it comes to pain level or pain intensity. And um, even though I still have it, I can feel it now. It's more like a discomfort than pain. Um, I wouldn't even say discomfort. I just feel it there. Um, so significantly making a difference this treatment has made in terms of the intensity level from what I was feeling when I came to where I am now. Yeah, so I was feeling the pain um, really in this whole right region from my eye down to my lip and my whole cheek for the most part. And so now just like right in this one spot um, is where I feel it whenever I feel it. Um, like now, I don't feel it at all. So this is a graphical representation of her course of treatment and physical therapy, uh, plotting her pain level um, and burning sensation. This is the significant drop in uh, visit number four, and this is where she was on visit number 10. And she has been still asymptomatic after a nine month follow up. This is a snapshot of her physical therapy course of treatment, highlighting the significant drop in her symptoms from 20 over 10 pain on the entire right side of her face to a 0 to 1 over 10 on a tiny dot on her right upper lip. After a 9 month follow up, she reports that she is still asymptomatic. A cohort of six patients in a case series, highlighting the benefit of non invasive physical therapy intervention. Before resorting to invasive surgical procedures, patients are increasingly acknowledging physical therapy as a viable option. Physical therapy interventions not only provide relief by calming sensory nerves, but also support the healing process. Additionally, they play a crucial role in reassuring previously alarmed, overprotective, and oversensitive nerves that it is now safe to function comfortably again.